White Sands National Monument is a United States national monument located in the state of New Mexico on the north side of Route 70 about 16 miles 26 kilometers southwest of Alamogordo in western Otero County and northeastern Doña Ana County. The monument is situated at an elevation of 4,235 feet 1,291 meters in the mountain-ringed Tularosa Basin and comprises the southern part of a 275 square miles 710 square kilometers field of white sand dunes composed of gypsum crystals. The gypsum dune field is the largest of its kind on Earth. History. The first Euro-American exploration was led by a party of U.S. Army officers in 1849. The Mescalero Apache were already living in the area at the time. Hispanic families started farming communities in the area at Tularosa in 1861 and at La Luz in 1863. The idea of creating a national park to protect the White Sands formation dates to 1898 when a group from El Paso, Texas proposed the creation of Mescalero National Park. The plan failed as it included a game hunting preserve that conflicted with the idea of preservation held by the Department of the Interior. In 1921–22, Albert B. Fall, Secretary of the Interior and owner of a large ranch in Three Rivers northeast of the Dune Field, promoted the idea of an all-year national park that, unlike more northerly parks, would be open even in the winter. This idea ran into a number of difficulties and did not succeed. Tom Charles, an Alamogordo insurance agent and civic booster, was influenced by Fall's ideas. By emphasizing the economic benefits, Charles was able to mobilize enough support to have the National Monument created. <laughs> <laughs> National Monument On January 18, 1933, President Herbert Hoover designated White Sands National Monument, acting under the authority of the Antiquities Act of 1906. The dedication and grand opening was on April 29, 1934. Tom Charles became the first custodian of the monument, and upon his retirement in 1939 became the first concessionaire, operating as White Sands Service Company, the visitor center, and a nearby comfort station. Three Ranger residences, as well as three maintenance buildings, were constructed of adobe bricks as a Works Progress Administration project starting in 1936 and completed in 1938. The original eight adobe buildings and other nearby structures were designated the White Sands National Monument Historic District when they were added to the National Register of Historic Places in 1988. The principal architect was Lyle E. Bennett who also designed NPS buildings at Casa Grande and Bandelier National Monuments, as well as Petrified Forest, Carlsbad Caverns and Mesa Verde National Parks. The monument is completely surrounded by military installations White Sands Missile Range and Holloman Air Force Base and has always had an uneasy relationship with the military. Errant missiles often fell on the monument, in some cases destroying some of the visitor areas. Overflights from Holloman disturbed the tranquility of the area. In 1969, the New Mexico Department of Game and Fish introduced oryx into the Tularosa Basin for hunting. The oryx, having no natural predators, entered the monument and competed with native species for forage. In 1996, increasingly problematic alcohol abuse by students on spring break led to a ban on the consumption of alcohol, and the possession of alcohol or alcohol containers, throughout the monument from February 1 to May 31. <laughs> <laughs> World Heritage Site Controversy WSNM was placed on a tentative list of potential World Heritage Sites on January 22, 2008. The state's two U.S. Senators, Pete Domenici and Jeff Bingaman, wrote letters of support of the application. U.S. Representative Stephen Pierce declined to support the application, saying, I would guarantee that if White Sands Monument receives this designation, that there will at some point be international pressures exerted that could stop military operations as we know them today." The WHS application generated much controversy in Otero County, most of it taking place in meetings of the Otero County Commission. A petition with 1,200 signatures opposing the application was presented to the Commission on August 16, 2007. 
The Commission passed a resolution of opposition to the application on August 23, 2007 and passed Ordinance 07 05 on October 18, 2007 relating to any potential World Heritage Site designations within the county. The ordinance requires coordination with the county in following its environmental planning and review process through its Public Land Use Advisory Council, and states that, "...no World Heritage Site less than pre greater than slash pre greater than dot 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 will be located on or adjacent to any military land within or adjacent to the boundaries of Otero County on January 24, 2008, after the WHS tentative list was announced, the Commission instructed the county attorney to write a letter to the Secretary of the Interior, demanding that WSNM be taken off the list. National Park Bill In May 2018, U.S. Senator Martin Heinrich Democrat New Mexico introduced a bill to designate White Sands a national park. Heinrich consulted with monument officials, the National Park Service, White Sands Missile Range, the U.S. Army, and Holloman Air Force Base before the bill was introduced in Congress. The bill is supported by the Alamogordo City Commission, the Las Cruces City Council, the Mescalero Apache Tribal Council, the Town of Mesilla Board of Trustees, Alamogordo Mayor Richard Boss, New Mexico Senator Ron Griggs Republican, the Alamogordo Chamber of Commerce, the Greater Las Cruces Chamber of Commerce, the Las Cruces Green Chamber of Commerce, the National Parks Conservation Association, and the Southern New Mexico Public Lands Alliance. The bill was opposed, however, by Otero County commissioners who stated that the main argument in favor of national park status was the potential for increased visitation, which they claim is uncertain, while also noting that the monument is already the most visited NPS site in the state. The commissioners were also concerned that, "...the change in status will affect filmmaking here either from higher fees or increased regulation." The commissioners only supported boundary adjustments and additional infrastructure, such as campgrounds and improved road access. The Doña Ana County commissioners have also opposed the redesignation of White Sands as a national park. Filming history White Sands National Monument has been featured in a variety of Western films, including Four Faces West (1948), Hang 'Em High (1968), The Hired Hand (1971), My Name Is Nobody (1973), Bite the Bullet (1975), and Young Guns II (1990). White Sands (1992) is a crime film containing some scenes filmed in the National Monument. King Solomon's Mines 1950, The Man Who Fell to Earth 1976, and Transformers 2007 were also filmed at White Sands. <laughs> <laughs> Description Gypsum rarely occurs as sand because it is water-soluble. Rain usually dissolves gypsum and rivers then carry it to the sea. The Tularosa Basin has no outlet to the sea, so it traps rain that dissolves gypsum from the surrounding San Andres and Sacramento Mountains. The rainwater either sinks into the ground, or forms shallow pools that subsequently dry out and leave gypsum on the surface in a crystalline form called selenite. Groundwater that flows out of the Tularosa Basin flows south into the Hueco Basin. During the last ice age, a lake now called Lake Otero covered much of the basin. When it dried out, a large flat area of selenite crystals remained, which is named the Alkali Flat. Lake Lucero, a dry lake bed which occasionally fills with water, is located in the southwest corner of the park, at one of the lowest points of the basin. The ground in the Alkali Flat and along Lake Lucero's shore is covered with selenite crystals that measure up to 3 feet 1 meter. Weathering and erosion eventually break the crystals into sand-size grains that are carried away by the prevailing winds from the southwest, forming the white dunes. The dunes constantly change shape and slowly move downwind. Since gypsum is water-soluble, the sand that composes the dunes may dissolve and cement together after rain, forming a layer of sand that is more solid, which increases the wind resistance of the dunes. The increased resistance does not prevent dunes from quickly covering the plants in their path. Some species of plants, however, can grow fast enough to avoid being buried by the dunes. White sands contains various forms of dunes. 
Dome dunes are found along the southwest margins of the field, transverse and barchan dunes in the center of the field, and parabolic dunes along the northern, southern, and northeastern margins. From the visitor center at the park entrance, the dunes drive leads 8 miles 13 kilometers into the dunes. Four marked trails allow visitors to explore the dunes by foot. During the summer, there are also ranger-guided orientation and nature walks. The park participates in the Junior Ranger program, with various age group specific activities. Unlike dunes made of quartz based sand crystals, the gypsum does not readily convert the sun's energy into heat and can be walked upon safely with bare feet, even in the hottest summer months. Visitors frequently ride sleds down the dunes by the parking areas. Both the park and U.S. Route 70 between Las Cruces and Alamogordo are subject to closure for safety reasons when tests are conducted at White Sands Missile Range which completely surrounds the monument. Tests occur about twice a week on average, for a duration of one to two hours. <laughs> Climate Topic Gallery Topic Nearby Cities Alamogordo, New Mexico, El Paso, Texas, Las Cruces, New Mexico. Topic See also National Register of Historic Places listings in Otero County, New Mexico Trinity Site – World's first nuclear weapon test, at White Sands Missile Range <laughs>